Throughout your time at Colorado State University, you have been challenged, encouraged, and celebrated. Recently, every extraordinary accomplishment has felt a little different. Yet through innovation, hard work, and limitless imagination, you have shown what it means to be truly stalwart. As a community, we have experienced adversity and heartfelt moments. It is in our character to come together, lift each other up, and embody the statement we frequently hear, Rams take care of Rams. This is a time of wonder and a time to celebrate and be proud of all that you have accomplished. To the class of 2021, your experiences at CSU provided a foundation to achieve new heights. And it is your turn to look towards the future to shape your communities and the world. Welcome to the commencement ceremony of Colorado State University's 2021 graduates. I'm the Provost and Executive Vice President Mary Pedersen, and it is my pleasure and privilege to join your families and friends and our faculty and staff in celebrating you today. Congratulations to you. Please join us as we begin this ceremony with the national anthem performed by our very own CSU musicians and with the colors presented by Colorado State University's Air Force ROTC's Wing Walker Honor Guard. Thank you to the Wing Walker Honor Garden, our musical performers, and to all who have made this virtual ceremony possible. I am proud and honored to introduce CSU's land acknowledgement. It is important that we not lose sight of the need to remember the history of the land on which our institution stands, especially in this virtual, physically distanced world, shrouded by a pandemic. Whenever or however our community gathers, we have a responsibility to share the land acknowledgement. We do this to respect and reflect upon the sacrifices made by the indigenous communities who were the original stewards of CSU land. Tribal communities were displaced and ultimately harmed to gain the land that has enabled this institution to serve a mission of education and research for more than 150 years. We are grateful to the CSU's indigenous faculty, staff, and students, as well as the non-indigenous members of our community who contributed to our land acknowledgement. This beautiful video presentation was produced by CSU's Native American Advisory Council as a powerful affirmation of the acknowledgement and to remind us all of our relationship to each other and this land.
Colorado State University acknowledges with respect that the land we are on today is the traditional and ancestral homelands of the Arapaho, Cheyenne, and Ute nations and peoples. This was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for numerous other Native nations. We recognize the indigenous peoples as original stewards of this land and all the relatives within it. As these words of acknowledgement are spoken and heard, the ties nations have to their traditional homelands are renewed and reaffirmed. CSU is a land-grant institution and we accept that our mission must encompass access to education and inclusion. And significantly, that our founding came at a dire cost to Native nations and peoples whose land this university was built upon. This acknowledgement is the education and inclusion we must practice in recognizing our institutional history, responsibility, and commitment. Dear graduates, we celebrate so much for you today. Your successes, your brilliance, your future, and we know great things await you. There is a profound legacy to which we are all connected as CSU Rams, more than 150 years across multiple generations and identities, one that you have influenced and shaped in your presence here. You should take enormous pride in that. Now that you move forward to make your mark and contribution to the world as you have here at CSU, take with you the principles of community, all that you have learned here, and the shared experiences with your peers, your professors, and this institution. We take pride in knowing that you chose to be a RAM and that you are forever part of CSU, its legacy and history. The late poet, award-winning author, educator, and civil rights activist, Dr. Maya Angelou once said, if you're going to live, leave a legacy. Make a mark on the world that can't be erased. Angelou was perhaps best known for her 1969 memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, which made literary history as the first nonfiction bestseller by an African-American woman. In addition to her literature, she contributed so much to this world through her voice, other talents, intellect, compassion, and strength. She is one of humankind's extraordinary legacies. Through your life experiences, learning, and achievements, you have started to build your own personal legacy, as did your peers who came before you and those who will follow you. There is much ahead for you, and your journey has just begun. As you venture into your future, embrace the challenges ahead of you. Create and capture opportunities to make the world better. Build your legacy, make your mark, one that cannot be erased. I want to close with more wisdom by Maya Angelou. This is from a commencement speech that she gave in 1982. Her message stands true for you today as it did for that graduating class nearly 40 years ago. She said, of all your attributes, your youth, your beauty, your wit, your kindness, your money, courage is indeed your greatest achievement. It is the greatest of all of your virtues, for without courage you cannot practice any other virtues with consistency. No doubt it has taken incredible courage for you to get where you are today, especially this past year. I know you have worked hard to succeed in your studies, your research, your service, and employment for your family and community, yourself, and your future. In your time at CSU, especially in the unprecedented challenges you have faced with the pandemic, you've begun to define your character, your courage, and who you are and who you want to be. Now it is your time to make your mark on the world and I know you will do great things. Congratulations to you and your family, your friends, and all who have supported you. Madam President, the 2021 Spring and Summer Graduating Class 
of Colorado State University is virtually assembled. Thank you, Provost Pedersen. Congratulations to our 2021 graduates and a special welcome to all the family and friends joining us to celebrate the hard work and achievements of those whose academic journeys will culminate today with the recognition of each graduate and conferral of their degrees. It is important to have the people you love the people who have supported you in ways too numerous to count be able to share this important day. I am so glad all of you could join us. I know this is not how any of us pictured the culmination of your academic careers at Colorado State University. But we know the importance of celebrations and this one marks a significant and meaningful milestone, the end of one journey and the beginning of another. Graduates, over the past year, you have exhibited incredible strength and resilience. These are qualities you share with past generations who also experience difficult times, times of war, times of economic upheaval, and yes, even times of pandemic. I believe that resilience is rooted both in our land-grant mission and in the special qualities of the students who choose Colorado State. This university was born in a nation undergoing tremendous change and was designed to meet some of its most critical needs. It is a place founded on a revolutionary commitment to offering broad access and generating new knowledge knowledge our graduates have used for generations to meet the world's biggest and most complex challenges. All of you inherit that legacy of resilience and will carry it forward. You have shown an amazing ability to adapt and persevere, not just to survive in difficult times, but to thrive. And keep in mind, as you transition from college to career, that your learning isn't coming to an end. In many ways, it's just beginning. You leave here with the knowledge and the skills to excel in the careers you've chosen, but it's possible that your real dream job is still somewhere out there in your future. It's possible it doesn't even exist yet. You're entering a world where change remains a constant, where the needs of the workforce and the size and scope of the challenges will continue to accelerate and evolve. But whatever those challenges may be, whenever and wherever you encounter them, you will be prepared. You have the skills and abilities, and you have the creativity and critical thinking to transform yourselves when challenges and opportunities arise. You will gain wisdom with every experience you will be ready. Our CSU community has a powerful, shining, bold spirit, one of, born of hope and optimism, one that cannot be dimmed by challenges. For more than 150 years, it has endured, growing brighter and stronger, particularly in the face of adversity. Your achievements are now part of that long, proud history Colorado State University's class of 2021 set a standard of resilience and perseverance that will endure for future generations. Wherever you go from here, you will remain members of a CSU community of brilliant minds, great hearts, and an indomitable resilience. Our Ram family reaches around the world, honoring our storied past and embracing our shared future ready to confront is increasingly complex challenges. I am delighted to celebrate all of you. On behalf of the entire CSU community, congratulations. And now I am thrilled to be able to welcome our spring 2021 commencement speaker from Philadelphia, Kareem Rosser. 
Kareem earned his degree in economics from CSU in 2016. And many of you will recall him leading our CSU polo team to a national championship in 2015 when he also was named the U.S. Polo Association's Intercollegiate Player of the Year. Economics and polo have remained among his passions since graduation. Kareem is pursuing a career as a financial analyst in Philadelphia and continues to compete in polo tournaments around the world. And in the best tradition of CSU alums, he is also working to improve the lives of others, to give back to the communities that support us, and to make the world a better place. He serves as treasurer on the board of Work to Ride, the program that taught him to ride and take care of horses. Since 2015, Kareem has raised more than $800,000 to support at-risk youth and the program that gave him a future in polo. In February, Kareem released his first book, Crossing the Line, a fearless team of brothers and the sport that changed their lives forever. It tells his own inspirational story and the stories of the people who were his mentors when he was growing up in one of Philadelphia's toughest neighborhoods. He's been featured on 60 Minutes, ESPN, and The Today Show. And today, he's here to share his insights and experiences with us. We are so excited to welcome this remarkable individual and CSU graduate, Kareem Rosser. Hey, class of 2021, congratulations. You conquered one of the most difficult academic years in recent history, and you reached an incredible milestone during a pandemic. I am beyond proud of you. You really show Ram toughness. As you prepare for the next chapter, I imagine many of you are excited and some even nervous. I have no doubt this class is ready to take on whatever is waiting for you next. Commencement is a meaningful ceremony, but it's not the final goal you've been working towards. It's part of the larger journey of life. Wherever your future takes you, life is a journey. And all accomplishments we achieve during its course should be taken as starting points for further achievement. Your graduation serves as a launching point, whether you're headed to a new career, continuing your education, or exploring another avenue entirely. As you make your transition, you will inevitably face new challenges. This was true for me too when I was in your position. A few weeks after graduation, I began working as a financial analyst. The first six months were overwhelming as I struggled to maintain a healthy work-life balance. There were moments, just like my time during at CSU, when I wanted to quit. As a student, I failed multiple tests. As a student athlete, I lost many games, but I did not let the failing moments define me. Instead, I look back at my struggles as a college student and how I chose to persevere. I used my challenges as motivation to pursue a greater goal, to become the first member of my family to receive a college degree. Now you, like me, I have the honor of calling ourselves CSU graduates. Now it's time to put the knowledge you've gained over the last four years to use. CSU has equipped you with the tools to create your own plan. Creating your plan does not mean success will come overnight. As we experienced this past year, life forces us to adjust. The pandemic delayed my first significant capital raise as the lead analyst. I did not let the challenges of the virus dictate my success. I pivoted and remained patient. There will be moments you feel discouraged, but you have already proven to be resilient. You have, reached, you have received an education from one of the greatest institutions in the world, and I know you're prepared. You're about to close one door while simultaneously open a new one. I'm encouraging you to walk through with confidence. As I said before, life is a journey, and you do not stop growing once you get your diploma. Today, you have a lot to celebrate 
Enjoy this moment and the best of luck to all of you. Go Rams. Well, thank you, President McConnell and Provost Pedersen, and a very special thanks to our 2021 commencement speaker, Kareem Rosser. So hello and congratulations to our graduates, to the family and friends. This is such a momentous occasion, and we'd hoped to be together in person to celebrate, but alas, the pandemic prevented that. But we do want to take a moment and really recognize the outstanding accomplishments of these graduates. We are so very, very proud of you. The mission of our college is to improve the health of animals, people, and the planet through innovative and dedicated teaching, research, outreach, and clinical service. And through our actions, we empower the next generation of leaders to change the world. So let me repeat that last part. We empower the next generation of leaders to change the world. And graduates, I hope you feel empowered and excited about the future. We look forward to seeing all the great things that you're gonna to do to make this a better world. I have a departing thought that I'd like to share with you today. Your degree alone is not the sole key to your success. Consider, if you will, a golden ticket which will provide you access to your future success. And I look at your diploma as one half of that golden ticket. It's going to open doors, it's gonna provide credibility, it ensures a level of knowledge, but it does not ensure success. It is you, not the diploma, that completes the other half of this golden ticket. And it's you and how you present yourself, it's you and the relationships that you build, and it's you and the effort and passion that you bring every day. So use your diploma and use your degree to open those doors, but don't forget to complete the rest of the golden ticket, which is uniquely you. You complete that package and provide success for your future. We look forward to seeing where this will take you in the future. And on behalf of all of the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences, congratulations and well wishes. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, we commence with the formal conferral of the degrees. Madam President, these candidates have completed all the requirements for their degree. With the recommendation of the faculty in the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences, I'm pleased to present them to you for the conferring of the degree. With the recommendation of the faculty by the authority invested in me by the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System and the State of Colorado, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Now we welcome you to join us in the Colorado State University alma mater led by our very own musicians coming to us from the University Center for the Arts. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. I'm very pleased, and it is an incredible honor to represent the, the 2021 College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences graduating class. I would like to welcome our friends and families to Colorado State University Spring 2021 virtual commencement. 
Who would have thought when we began our college journey just a few years ago that we would be completing our programs by wearing masks, practicing social distancing, attending classes on Zoom, and that our amazing families and friends would be watching this virtual commencement rather than celebrating our hard-earned achievement in person. However, I'm pretty sure that each graduate is deeply touched by the continuous support that you, dear family and friends, you have provided to each one of us along this amazing journey. Graduates, we made it. Living in this global pandemic has been strange and stressful. We never imagined ourselves attending college under these circumstances and perhaps we felt unprepared to thrive while wearing masks in labs, attending classes online, and being unable to engage with each other in person. But despite all the difficulties we faced along the way, we did achieve our goals. This is something remarkable, and you should be proud of yourself. Carry this honor as you proceed to the next chapter in your future life. Looking back, it seems like yesterday, I stepped off the plane as an international student, away from my family, and adapting to a new culture. It was difficult, and I'm sure each of my fellow graduates has experienced their own challenges while completing their academic journey at CSU. I feel truly blessed and proud of the major accomplishment we are all celebrating today. My experiences at Colorado State University have taught me many things. First, never give up. I still remember how I felt when I failed my physiology class. Yes, I failed a course. I'm confident enough to say it now because I learned from this failure. It wasn't an easy class. Perhaps some of my fellow graduates struggled with the same class or maybe you struggled with their organic chemistry courses. These two courses are difficult for most of us. We have to admit it, Rams. After failing, it was hard to move on. I was discouraged and tired and struggled to see the way forward due to my failure. But I did keep my eyes on my goal. I pushed myself harder than I ever had before. And it all worked out in the end. I passed that course after a year and succeed in all my courses. I also went on to be elected as the first Saudi woman president for the Saudi Student Association at CSU and I stand before you today, having achieved my academic goal. My second piece of advice is to never be scared to look hard at yourself and to be willing to change in order to achieve your goals. Change might be the beginning to a new and wonderful chapter in your book of life. I appreciate each of my fellow graduates as a characters in this chapter we are completing. I think we would all agree that our stories are only enhanced by the family and friends who were major characters in our most recent chapter. For me, special characters include my father, sisters, and best friends. And it is important for me to say the character that I dedicate my whole success to is my mother. She passed away 13 years ago due to breast cancer but she was always with me and in my mind during this journey. I'm sure my fellow graduates have special people woven into the chapter you are completing here at CSU. We wish they could be here with us to celebrate our accomplishments in Fort Collins. As we end one chapter and begin another, I offer my last piece of advice to you. Surround yourself with positive thinkers People who want good things for you, encourage you, and see the best in you. We have learned firsthand that things might not always go as planned, and yet we persevere. So keep working and keep pushing yourself toward your goal. Last but not least, graduates, you are all destined for greatness, each and every one of you has the potential to change the world.
The idea of material success does not influence our lives heavily. So follow your dreams and do what makes you happy and never stop trying to be the best version of yourself. I want to give a special thanks to our families, teachers, and the university faculty who supported us during these difficult times, and to all university faculty and staff who worked hard to keep this community safe. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Once a Ram, always a Ram. Go Rams! There is something beautifully monumental about our graduating class. On our first day as college students, we scurried between a new place and gathered outside to catch a glimpse of the first solar eclipse, the first one in nearly 40 years. Now, as seniors, we are in the midst of the first major global pandemic in around 100 years, living through history as we know it. Our individual stories have coalesced into this moment, a critical time to reflect on what may be some of the most formative years of our lives. This journey was incredibly difficult at times, with disappointments, social mistakes, and even failures. This is a moment to relish in all the hard work you've put in and finally take a break. It is so inspiring to see the passion and fire within everyone here and know that the world will be made a better place when we use it to drive change. Having the courage to speak out against injustice, advocating for progress in your respective fields and communities and waking up each morning and reminding yourself that you are awesome and you do make a difference. We know that this attitude will help us rise above adversity and fight for what we believe in. In the past year, we have talked so much about the spread of germs, but we must highlight the importance of spreading ideas. As we go off into our lives, we'll encounter people who are different than us with thoughts that don't coincide with our own and we'll experience new feelings, hopes, and dreams that arise from the result of a new chapter in our lives. In tribute to the beloved Dr. Callahan, we want to pass on the knowledge that just as cells pass on a message to each other, then they proliferate and pass on further messages as microbes travel the world, changing and talking and providing new insights into evolution. We too have the ability to radiate and bestow our ideas throughout the world. Ideas that build, combine and incorporate others to powerfully influence those who have had the honor of hearing what you have to say. And in the midst of positively impacting the world, it is important to remember our roots. We can look back at this time to ground ourselves in the knowledge that we have become better people at CSU by looking after one another and respecting the ideas and backgrounds of those who are different than us. Today, we remember the community in which we started in, recognizing the time, effort, and love of our professors, classmates, and families during our time here. Pay attention to every moment that you can, noticing the value in your work and that of those around you. Everyone here is smarter than they think they are and loved by our community more than they will ever understand. Have the courage to ask the hard questions, speak truth to power, and know that you will always have Fort Collins and Colorado State to call home. Thank you to the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences for a challenging and meaningful college experience. Now, let us take this time to recognize and celebrate each of you, the class of 2021. Congratulations again and go Rams.
I'm Bruce Alexander, head of the Department of Environmental and Radiological Health Sciences at the College of Veteran Medicine and Biomedical Sciences. And I want to wish congratulations to all the 2021 graduates of CVMBS and a particular shout out to the environmental health graduates. You've completed your degree during extraordinary times, but I'm sure you'll go on to do extraordinary things in your career. And whatever your next step, be it a new job, more education, or entering the service, we really look forward to hearing from you in the future. We're very proud of all of our graduates and wish them the best of luck. Thank you. microbiology majors, congratulations. It's unbelievable that you have completed your senior year during a pandemic, but you persevered. And now here you are on the cusp of your next career step. We're so proud of you and how you have risen to this occasion, but now it's time for you to take your microbiology knowledge and go out there and make a difference. Society needs you more now than ever before. So many people understand more than they ever have about microbiology. They'll understand what you're doing and what you're contributing. We're looking forward to hearing about all the successes you have. And please, if you need us, know that we're here. Let us know how things go. Stay in touch. Congratulations to you all. Dear graduates, I'm Dr. Noreen Rees, Director of the Molecular, Cellular, and Integrative Neuroscience Program. I'm so very proud of all that you have accomplished, especially during this last difficult year. To the neuroscience students, I wish I could be there to hand you your diploma and shake your hand in person. This has been a tough year for all of us. 
but to have finished the last year requirements for your degree under the restrictions imposed by COVID is a remarkable accomplishment. The drive and determination necessary to get you to this point shows what exceptional people you all are. You've gotten through this, you can get through anything. You have the power to shape the world, and I'm so excited to see the bright new future that you will create. Congratulations.